Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Katie and I upload book related videos every single Wednesday and it feels really odd filming today's video just because I feel like so much has changed and it just feels odd to sit down and do a normal booktube video. As you can tell from the background and I talked about this in my previous videos but I have moved to my new apartment so welcome to your background on my channel for the next nine months. If you want to hear more about why I'm just here for nine months and then I'm moving again you can refer to my grad school video where I talk about my job and all of that. So I was gonna film a review of Berlin Syndrome, but with, you know, everything being hectic with moving and starting work, I did not read at all. <laughs> so so instead I was like, why not film a bookshelf tour? I'm blanking on what this bookshelf is called, but it's just from Ikea and it was on sale for like $15, I, but I'm very happy with it. I also did not bring a ton of books, which you'll see when I go through it. Since I'm gonna be moving so much over the next couple of years, I really just wanted to bring number one, my favorites, just because I wanna be around the books that I love, and number two, the books on my TBR that I genuinely really want to read. And I normally never talk about where I live just because I know some YouTubers and booktubers are really comfortable like saying their last name and where they live and where they went to school and all of that. I just personally just for whatever reason like to keep my booktube and my all other aspects of my life very separate. But since I'm only going to be here for nine months and a lot of you guys have been asking for updates on where the company placed me, I thought I would let you guys know. But basically, although I'm not in New York City, I'm not terribly far from it. So if you're curious where I got placed, that will kind of answer your question. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the bookshelf tour. First, I'm going to apologize if the sound quality is terrible, but with this camera, whenever I'm doing a video like this, there's just no way around it unless I go out and buy a mic, and I'm not in a position to do that right now. So this is the bookshelf just kind of at a glance. It's tall, skinny, and again was just like $15 from Ikea. This is a light up tree branch that's supposed to look like a birch tree. Eventually, it will have an actual vase but I forgot it at my parents' house. So along the top row, first we have one book that's one of my favorites of all time and one I want to read. And one of my favorite books of all time is Deathless by Catherine and Valente. If you want a Russian fairy tale esque book, it's just great. And In a Dark Dark Wood is a psychological thriller I've actually heard a lot of people don't like, but I've just heard so much about it, I really want to read it. And then we have, this is an old birthday card my mom got for me that I just think is hilarious, but, but this woman is filling up a bathtub, but, but over here you can't really tell. It says, I wish this were gin. Then a couple of my creepy nocturnal readers box, um, pictures, a couple of notebooks, and then a little photo of some creepy trees and a moon. And then on this second shelf, these containers are also for my keys. I just keep some paperwork in there. Then we have The Devil and Named King, which, which if you want to read a really good psychological thriller that takes place in Japan, it's wonderful. It also incorporates some history, although it's very dark, so just a warning is. Then a book I really want to read is Since We Fell by Dennis Lehane. This is a psychological thriller that's also supposed to be really good. Big Little Lies, Enough Said, The Handmaid's Tale, one of my favorite books, Middlesex, one of my favorite books, Surfacing by Margaret Atwood, which I've been really wanting to read, and then actually all of the rest of these I have not read but really want to. So Swing Time by Zadie Smith, Cat's Cradle, Swamplandia, Grotesque, After Dark, Norwegian Wood is one of my favorite books of all time, and I don't know why I haven't read any other Haruki Murakami. Repositioning this because I realize you probably can't see anything. <laughs> But then we have Daughter of the Blood, which is the first book in a fantasy series where women have kind of the political and sexual power over men. I'm kind of getting the impression I've always wanted to read this because it sounds so interesting, but every time I pick it up, I just can't get into it, so I don't know. And then The Leavers, which I really want to read. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you can probably already tell that this shelf has a ton of my favorites. So some of my favorites, Dark Places by Gillian Flynn, Quiet the Power of Introverts by Susan Cain, House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski, you by Caroline Kepnes, and then I have not read the rest on this shelf. And in particular though, I'm really interested to read Everything I Never Told You, which I know was popular on booktube, what, two years ago, and I kind of missed the boat on that one, but I do eventually want to get to that. And then over here, I have another creepy nocturnal reader's box, picture, and a pumpkin. And then on this row, I, so the only book I've read here is The Stranger by Albert Camus, and I've, and I've read that probably three times. It's just one of my favorite books of all time. And, and if you guys have noticed, I have said on Instagram and I've said on Twitter and Goodreads multiple times, I'm about to start Euphoria by Lily King. I literally never do. If I, so I definitely think that with some of these books, not just on this shelf, but on the others as well, when I move again in nine months, if there are some of these that I just haven't touched, I'm probably going to go ahead and donate them. And then over here, I'm sure you guys noticed I have a couple of Sailor Moon dolls. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know again, this was not probably that 
enthralling just because this is very very small compared to a lot of booktubers bookshelves but since you guys are going to be looking at this in the background for a while I figured I would go ahead and show you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed this video this week has been nuts so I'm probably going to go ahead and pass out right now but I will see you guys soon